Greetings, this is kvci.blogspot.com, YouTube Boston GBR. I'm reading from the Valdosta Daily Times, dated October 24th, 2011, page 9A, wherein the editors and publishers wrote a rant which says, the incompetence of the Obama administration is a result of a president being elected based on his race rather than his resume. It seems to me that this is the type of venom that we hear here in Valdosta and Lowndes County, Georgia, and in too many segments of our nation, across the nation. Yet, I haven't seen anything published, for the most part, by our major news media networks about three of our state representatives not being present in South Georgia at public forums dealing with voters' rights and the citizens' right to know. On last night, I traveled to Thomasville, Georgia, in the county of Thomas, and of course, representative, for whatever reason, Amy Carter, Ellis Black, and Tim Golden find reasons not to appear here in South Georgia so the voters will know what they stand for and how they have voted during their tenure. So once again, I'm George Boston Rhines, and I want you informed, by the way, the Quitman 10 case will be coming up soon, and we will be on it. We do not believe anybody should be deaf, dumb, and blind to the times and unable to make intelligent decisions based on facts. One other thing. Why is it that the rant and rave here in Valdosta, Georgia, seems to be of the lowest level when it comes down to the educational level of, of, of our community? It seems to me that the, these comments and rant and raves that are published, well, I guess it's, well, it's just a, re, a, a real reflection of the type of people, even among professional circles of those who are in control to keep the venom flowing in our community that's not in the best interest of our sons and daughters now stationed at Moody Air Force Base, whose commander-in-chief carries the name of President Barack Hussein Obama. And if they go into foreign nations, and if they are to be in foxholes, they must be in foxholes with Democrats, Republicans, Independents, Green Parties, and others, Christian, Muslim, Jews, and etc. We'll all serve together. We'll all carry out the mission. Yet when it comes down to rant and raves that seem to be trying to tear our nation apart, well, there are those in power who fuels and keep this, this, this reverse, reverse, reverse stuff in the eyes of the general public. But I thank God that the white right people and the black right people refuses to stoop so low to find and to believe that God made a mistake when he allowed President Barack Obama to come from his mother's womb in the same manner as the other 43 all-white male presidents that black folk always voted for white male presidents. And we did not call them a Hitler. We did not call them a clown nor that we put them in rings, and nor that we p publish every other day little cartoons denigrating the commander-in-chief of our sons and daughters who must fight on foreign battlefields and, if necessary, give their life in the defense of their beloved nation. Now I say to you, when will the venom end? A dangerous precedent has been set in the United States of America, and I'm solely afraid that it could very well be the destruction of this republic. Once again, my name is George Boston Rhymes. 
I'm giving you the truth from my perspective, and I want you to give me your truth from your perspective, and then we want to take the volume of sacred law and see who is espousing to hate and who is just trying to regulate what is right in God's world. Bye-bye. We're gone.